So now let us utilize null object inside of an After Effects to work with 3D models of Element 3D. So I'm going to go over here, let me fit it up into 100% and let me apply the Element 3D model. Now, so I'm going to apply the Element 3D plugin right here. So let me just drag it in. Here's my Element 3D plugin. So I'm going to go into my scene setup right here and I'm going to come up with my starter pack model right here. So let's say I want to uh, work around with this watch right here. This uh, this clock. All right, there you go. So I'm going to press OK to bring that clock in uh, over here, just like this. So now you can see that this is my anchor point right here. And what I want to do is I want to link the anchor point to a null object. So I can actually do that quite easily right here. So I'm going to create a new null object right here. So I'm going to create a new no, null object and it is right here as you can see. And what I want to do is I want to parent the properties of uh, this um, clock right here on to this null object. So what I'm going to do is turn the null object into a 3D layer. So I have all the three properties and you, you might have noticed that uh, to move around the 3D object is uh, quite not over there right off the bat. So you, what you want to do is you want to link it out so that uh, the problem is not there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this by pressing the tilt key right here. And what I'm going to do is go in uh, over into transform properties right here where I've enabled the 3D layer and you can see that these are the positions right there. All right, so I got the position and now I'm going to go into the transform uh, the effects panel and inside of effects I'm going to go into group one because that is where my clock is. So I'm going to go into particle replicator and you'll be able to see the position X, Y and Z right here. So what I want to do is I want to link this uh, position X, Y in to the position of the material right here. So what I'm going to do is press alt on my keyboard and I'm going to press on position X, Y, just click it. And so you can see that now a new parameter arrives. This is the expressions panel. So there, here you can see that there's a pick web. So what I'm going to do is just click and drag this out and make it a child of the position to the null. You can see that I just did that. So I just made this a position just like this. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to press enter. Just uh, go out. And there seemed to be an expression error because I actually did it twice. So I'm going to do this again. So just remove it out. You can drag, position, and there you go. So what it did was link the position uh, like this. You can see that this now turned red, the um, the position X, Y into this position right here. I'm going to see do the same with the position Z. I'm just going to apply it here because right now only the position X, Y has been applied over to the position right here. That is the first and second. So I'm going to do the same with the Z. So I'm going to hold Alt, click here. And I'm going to click the pick whip and drag it onto the third position a value right here, which represents the Z axis. So now that has been parented as well. Let me just press um, outside and you can see that that has been linked. So let me just um, zoom out back and you can see that there's the null object. And if I were to move the null object now, let me just uh, select the null object right here. Let me just lock up this layer. All right, so let me just lock out that there so that I can just move around the null object. And if I were to move the null object, you can see that the 3D object moves around with it. So you can see that I can bring it closer. I can go with the Z axis right here. So I can go around with the Z axis, bring it backward, bring it forward, uh, bring it down or bring it left. And this can be easily worked out with. So as it is parented, now you can animate the null object to animate the 3D object right there. But now um, the um, the rotation and everything else don't actually work out orientation and so forth. So what I want to do is I want to link up all those as well. So let me unlock it. Let me zoom this in with the tilt key. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to link up that as well. So uh, you'll be able to see that there's the rotation option right here, rotation X, Y and Z. So what I'm going to do is uh, click Alt over here on all three of them. Click Alt here, click Alt here. Uh, drag the rotation X to rotation X right here. Drag the rotation Y to rotation Y and rotation Z to rotation Z right here. As you can see, now I have the rotation axis as 
well. So uh, once I do that, I want to work out with the size as well. So let me just go into uh, the uh, options over here for the size. Let me just go into the particle look section. And over here, you'll be able to see particle size right here. So that's the normal size. That's the size right here as well, the scale size. So X, Y, and Z size is here. I want to link this up. So I'm going to hold Alt, Alt, and Alt and click all of them. So I'm going to drag the X size to size this one. Scale the first parameter for the X, second parameter for the Y axis, and the last parameter for Z axis. There you go. All of them are now linked up together. So now let us go back and let's see uh, what's the result. All right. So now you can see that the object is not there anymore because the size because of the size issue right here because it's nine percent and so forth. Let me just bring it down into something like one percent and there you go. That's the object right here. Two percent. That's the object. So let me just unlink this out. Let me just go four percent and you can see that that expands as well. So the value is right there. So one percent for this one and 1% for this one and you can see that the uh, model actually squeezes out. I'm going to go 1%, I can increase the value out so I can increase the size of the value, decrease it out, I can rotate this around as you can see and all of this can be done by uh, manipulating with the null object and you can see that it is very easy and right off the bat. You don't have to go along all of the settings then to animate the 3D objects. So that is how you can use null object to parent um, to parent it uh, with the 3D object so that it's easier for animation. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.